हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वन मोर एनडीटी मेथड दैट इज डाई पेनिट्रेशन टेस्टिंग इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज लिक्विड पेनिट्रेशन टेस्टिंग सो द अदर नेम फॉर डाई पेनिट्रेशन इज लिक्विड पेनिट्रेशन टेस्टिंग सो दिस डाई पेनिट्रेशन टेस्टिंग is used for detection of surface breaking flaws in non ferrous material so there are so many ndt methods so a question may be arising in your head as to when we have to use a particular testing method so this dye penetration testing is suitable for detection of surface breaking flaws and also in non ferromagnetic material so this method is frequently used for detection of surface breaking flaws in non ferromagnetic material so this type of ndt method it can be applied if you find any surface breaking flaws and also these surface breaking flaws will be appearing in non ferromagnetic material other than non ferromagnetic materials we cannot apply this dye penetration method so there are different types of different steps involved in this dye penetration method so the steps involved in dye penetration method are the first one is surface preparation the next step is penetrant application the third step is excess penetrant removal the fourth step is developer application the fifth step is visual flaw detection so there are five steps involved in this dye penetration method so we will discuss these steps in detail one by one the first step that is the surface preparation surface preparation is nothing but we have to clean the surface for removing traces of foreign particles like dirt dust water vapor and then we will examine if the surface of the component is chemically clean or not so if it is not clean then what happens is the liquid will not enter or the penetrant will not enter into the surface defects here the component to be examined is first of all chemically clean to remove all traces of foreign material grease dirt dust or any other impurities
from the surface and also from within the cracks so here in this figure we can see there is a opening on the surface of the component itself so this is a crack which is visible on the surface so such flaws can be detected with the help of this penetrant method so the next step is penetrant application so penetrant here is in the form of thin oil which is usually dyed or it may be in the color of bright colors are chosen here so here we can see there is a red colored penetrant so or ultraviolet fluorescent is applied so penetrant is nothing but a thin oil which is usually dyed or colored bright red or ultraviolet fluorescent and it is applied on the surface of the component which has to be tested so after we apply the penetrant we will let it stay on the surface for some time so that it will get inside or it will fill the crack completely so this filling of the crack is possible by the capillary action which is drawing the penetrant into the crack during the period when the penetrant is allowed to stay on the surface so it is allowed to remain in contact with the surface for some 15 minutes so in this 15 minutes time due to capillary action the penetrant is drawn inside this crack so the second step here from the figure we can see it is excess penetrant removed from the surface so it is a very delicate step which must be done very sensitively so that we have to remove the penetrant only from the surface we have to see that the penetrant which has gone inside the crack will not be removed so only from the surface we have to clean up the penetrant so here powdered chalk is applied on the surface so the next step says that developer powder applied to draw penetrant out of the crack so next step is developer application so the developer powder here chalk is used is applied on the surface of the component so what does this developer do this developer will pull out the dye out of the crack so this developer draws the dye out of the crack dye is nothing but the penetrant which we had already applied in the second step so how does it pull it pulls out the dye like a blotting paper to form a visual magnified in width indication in good contrast to the background so like a blotting paper to form a visual magnified in width indication in good contrast to the 
background. So here we can see that indication of the crack as penetrant spread across around the opening. So this developer will pull out the penetrant from inside this crack and it will spread on the surface with a larger width. So we can see a dark coloration that is a red coloration here which is indicating that there is a crack present on the opening of the surface. So and it is also magnified in width as well as it is in good contrast to the background so that it is clearly visible. So this process is purely mechanical and includes chemical one and so the substances used may be applied in large variety of ways from aerosol sprays at the most simple end to dipping in large tanks or an automatic basis at the other end. So here we can apply the penetrant with the help of aerosol sprays or we can dip the component in large tanks. Okay, so the process is purely mechanical bar chemical and various substances used may be applied in large variety of ways that is from aerosol sprays or dipping in large tanks. Now what are the advantages of this dye penetration method? So it has simplicity of operation that is it is very simple to operate or test with the help of this dye penetration. It is very simple to so with the help of dye penetration it is so with the help of dye penetration method it is very simple to carry out the operation. So simplicity of operation. So this is the best method for surface breaking cracks in non-ferrous metals. So best method for surface breaking cracks non-ferrous metals. So this method is suitable for automatic testing with reservation concerning viewing. So it is suitable for automatic testing with reservation concerning weaving and this method is a, a quantitative method so it is now what are the disadvantages of dye penetration testing so it is restricted only for surface breaking defects it has a decreased sensitivity And it uses considerable amount of consumables. So uses a considerable amount of consumables. Like the penetrant, the developer or all 
used in this method and it has decreased sensitivity so this is all about the dye penetration method so i hope you have understood the concept of this dye penetration along with its procedure advantages and disadvantages thank you